Welcome back to my cave once again, humans. Actually kind of surprised I'm doing another one of these because this is kind of a headache. It's kind of me trying to challenge myself, but... Eh. Also, wanted to show off a few of my other guys down at the bottom. Made some new ones. I mean, come on, this series is a chance to show off the characters I created. Why not? This time around, I'm going to be using the Soul of Cassandra. This is another one of the six characters in that little visual fighting game story I wanted to do. I'm not even sure I'm going to do it. Like, with Park of the Parkour Polar Bear, that wasn't really much of a story. Most of my creative juices are going into my book. In a cursed castle and yeah, it's a book about death. sumo wrestling crime fighting monsters, though. But actually, I I don't want to undersell it because I actually feel confident in the book I'm writing. Although, now that I think about it, with a concept like that, it sounds like it should be something really wacky, and so far, what I've written isn't super wacky like that. But then again, how many people think sumo wrestlers are actually kind of bad at? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it could just be badass sumo wrestling monsters. And then again, the main character isn't all that badass. Though his teammates are pretty badass. And they like to have fun, too. Dang it, Sophia! Alright. Try again. I mean, have I told you about any of the characters? Maya, Toasty, Dobbin, Master Toomba? I think I might have mentioned them in one of my Forge and Shadow Torch playthrough videos, but I'm not sure. Basically, Maya is one of uh, Ricky's biggest idols in life. He has other idols, like, of course, his father and the Rolo Brothers, who are a duo of Rhino Dillos. Well, who are basically what they sound like. Rhinos are pretty awesome, but you know what? One thing I've neglected to do in my story is uh, bring up Ricky's father's half as a superhero or a crime fighter. Here we go. Special. Huh. Sometimes Cassandra throws her shield several times. I wonder what determines it. I mean, it's mentioned in one of the chapters, but that's about it. It's not treated as an inspiration for Ricky or anything, and I just, I feel like I need to go back and write that into the story. Yeah. Alright. First opponent down. And just, I don't know, just writing my book, I'm learning more and more about my book. And the, the to be honest, I'm still trying to figure out Ricky as a character. I feel like I figured out Maya and Toasty and Dobbins all right, but it, here's the thing. I just... Ricky is just not as likable as those three. Like, those three are my favorite characters in the books. So they, they were the easiest for me to create. And just Ricky has been harder because I haven't been as attached to him as those other three. You know? fighting spirits. Hmm. Will you fight me? And that's true about a lot of the characters in the book. I've I been see. having a harder time but trying to figure them out. Battle. But I've been managing. And so far this has been a video about my book and not about Soul Calibur 6. But... Like I said in my last Forge and Shadow Torch video, you want me to just say, Mmm, take that. I'm gonna hit him now. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. You want just needless uh, exposition 
Or do you want me to actually discuss something? I feel like that's better than just needless exposition. I'm just not good at being clever at describing what's going on. But then again, I barely mentioned the game at all. I've been so busy talking about my book that I haven't mentioned this game at all. I mean, right now I'm fighting Amy. Supposedly she's one of the best characters in the game. But her AI is about average. I don't think there's a pushover in this game. In fact, I remember in a previous attempt, I called, uh, what's his name? The dude from Witcher 3, uh... Oh yeah, your Hulk. I, I said he was easy, and then I got my butt kicked, and I was like, I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. <sighs> I wonder what would happen if your Holt met your Holt from Shining Force 2. I mean, your Holt from the Witcher franchise is someone who helps out misunderstood monsters. I think. Apparently he does in the book. I mean, in Witcher 3 is just... Uh, no, no, I, I don't want to talk about Witcher 3 right now. I really don't. But anyway, your hold from Shining Force 2 is a werewolf. An absolutely adorable werewolf. With an absolutely adorable cartoon wolf expression and whatnot. I say I'd like to see those two meet, but their styles kind of clash with each other. I mean, Geralt from Witcher is edgy and just over-the-top serious. And that's just not my kind of game. Not, I just, I really don't like media that takes itself dead seriously. I want a little whimsy in my media. That's what I generally like. I mean, why do you think I make so many animal-headed characters in this game? Because I want whimsy! Well, then, and if you give me options besides humans, I'm gonna take them. But, yeah, whimsy! You think I'm... You think I'm taking these characters dead seriously? Of course not! Although, I, I guess he could, sorta. I mean, that bird girl's pretty boss. But anyway, let's talk about the game right now. We are fighting Grrr again. And I have to ask, is this guy from anything? Is he a guest character? I know there's three guest characters. There's Geralt from Witcher 3, Tubi from Nier Atomica, and Haomaru from the Samurai Shodown franchise. The one franchise that unintentionally misspells its title. I think. I I'm not sure why they would neglect to add the H to Showdown. Maybe they were trying to be funny. Maybe they were trying to be like Mortal Kombat, which intentionally spells combat with a K and not a C. And then they ran with it in later games, where a lot of things would be spelled with a K and not a C. And I find that funny. But... Bro, I have no idea where Gro is from, if he is a guest character. I don't think he is, to be honest. But... He really doesn't fit with the other Soul Calibur characters. And I know I shouldn't try and call upon the Cakewalk curse, which is what I call calling something easy and then losing. Which I may or may not have mentioned in an episode of Balf Terminology. And if I didn't, that's another episode of Balf Terminology for you. But anywho is all. Grrr, is one of the easier opponents. He's one I can usually beat no problem. Also, I can't believe I've gone through this entire fight without bringing up Grrr's weapon. Which is a Darth Maul-like lightsaber. Except... He can break it apart, he can throw it like a boomerang. It also has a much shorter handle. And let's see if I can pull this off. Dang it, he blocked. But it didn't matter, haha. <laughs> Alright, that's three down, five to go. Hmm, 
She's so pretty. Please wait. Loading. And because Yoon Sung just isn't popular enough, we're fighting Hong Sun Yong, the guy Yoon Sung tried to replace. Hmm. Did I mention that they really jizzed up his design in this game? I don't think he ever used the talismans in previous games. Of course, I've never played Soul Calibur 3 either. That's the only Soul Calibur game I've never played. Very well, but I, am my own. I hear it's the worst one, though. But I don't know, I've never played it. Hmm. Looks like we're both starting slow. And... Uh, See how hard it is to explain action that's going on? I mean, why do you think I like to talk about random stuff every now and then? Most of the time it's because I have nothing to say. And why am I doing a commentary? Well, I guess I do have some things to say, and sometimes I want to say them. That's why I make a commentary version. And, uh... You'll notice it's been getting harder for me to make my, uh, Let's Play interesting. Thankfully, I only have two episodes left of the Fist and so the bit Forge and Shadow Torch Let's Play. <sighs> and the game just got updated recently with something called a Slum Fighter? Not sure what it is, to be honest. Haven't been able to find it yet. I guess it's like a boss rush mode or something? I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video on it once I figure out what it is. But for now, there's only going to be two episodes. I actually just recently recorded parts 10 and 11. I don't know why, just been kind of hesitant because I've been trying to get all those recordings out of my DVR. Not my DVR, my PlayStation 4. Just to make room for other things. Hmm. Still really fun game. Like day. But I did go into it a little rusty. Alright. Beat Pong. And now I'm on to... Hmm, let's see what we got here... Loading. Oh, pfft. this pushover, lol. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be such a cakewalk. Nope, nope, bad bells, bad. Remember when you you talked about this earlier? You know the cakewalk curse. You say something's gonna be easy, and then it kicks your butt, and then you're like, I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. And I already said that, didn't I? Alright, Sungmina. Let's see if you've learned anything from our previous battle. Ooh, didn't know I could do that. Okay. Nice. Woohoo! I like comboing with that thing. Whoosh! You know, Cassandra's a pretty fast character. I don't play as her that much, though. She has quite a few deflection moves, but I don't know, I'm just not very good at guarding that. Eh, I mean, once again, these are videos played by a novice. I, I don't know about novice, just, you know, what's the word? A veteran who's still not very good at the game. And so far, Samina is living up to her reputation of being a pushover. My god, Samina, you're a joke. Oh, what'd you do? 
Eh, it doesn't matter. Just pick her by Farah. Come on, Sungmina. You haven't learned anything. And you know what's coming. Super special. Eh, doesn't really work for Soul Calibur. And just like that, another opponent down, and Sungmina proved to be a joke once again. So to be fair, I've just been getting lucky against her. She has kicked my butt in the past. She's not the pushover I'm making her out to be. It's just that I've ended up being able to beat her no problem sometimes. Tira! Here's a character I don't fight that much. Let's see what kind of goodie surprises she has. Yeah. You know, speaking of unlikely team-ups, I think Tira should team up with Harley Quinn one of these days. That would be kind of cool to see Namco do a DC game. And then maybe Tira and Harley Quinn would team up together. Wouldn't that be awesome? Meh, who cares? I have to ask, is that ring really practical? My dad said it was a defensive weapon. I, I'm not sure how that would actually work in reality. It's basically a giant shock bump, right? Not sure how you would use a giant shock bump. Hmm. And so far, here is kicking my butt. But that can change in an instant. Come on, come on. All right. Do the low kick. Yeah! Nice comeback. Alright, let's play again, Tira. Ooh! I will admit, attacks from her do look brutal. Alright, and... Come on. Get her off the edge. Nope. Guess I can't line her up. Okay. Dang it! No, no, now I'm on the edge. No. Ah, good. Ooh, boy. Good thing she was in jolly form. It's even worse if she's in gloom form. All right, let's see if I can pull off a Hail Mary. Nope, didn't happen. <laughs> Serves up, bro. If I ever do a play with a hero character, I'm gonna... Ooh, that was lucky. Nice. Alright. Only need to beat her one more time. Let's see if I can pull off another victory. And, oh crap, no, why did I do that? No! Dummy, 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 dummy! Okay, okay. Calm down. Not over. It's not over. All right. Oh, yeah! Pulled it off again. Nice! Dang, Farah, you're looking pretty good right now. <laughs> of course, what do you expect? She's a cool, badass bird guy. Or girl. I mean, she ain't one of those sissy humans. <laughs> I have to admit, my heart was racing at this point. I didn't think I was going to get this far. But next I have to fight... Oh, come on. Why did it have to be Voldo? Uh, Alright, I guess the video is going to end soon. Until next time, I'm Balf and the cave is closed. No, no, no. Balf, give it a chance. You might actually beat him for once. If you're wondering what I'm blabbing about, Voldo is one of the hardest AIs in this difficulty. He's the one, like, most characters I can usually beat, but they sometimes do trip me up. But Voldo, he's a character that almost always beats me. In fact, I've never beaten him on my first try. But I just managed to get a perfect on him? 
Oh, that must have been beginner's luck. Seriously, I just goofed up right out of the starting game. You think I'm a master at this game? No, sir. Oh, yeah. There's three characters in particular I hate fighting. The ones that normally kick my butt all the time. Boldo is one of those three. The other two are, uh... The other two are Yoshimetsu and, you're not gonna believe this, but Astaroth. Astaroth is actually one of the harder AIs in this game. And, yep, that's the Boldo I know and hate. That's the Boldo that keeps kicking my ass all the time. But I'm not gonna back down. I'm not gonna give up. I gotta try. I came this far. I don't want to lose just because I faced Faldo this late in the game. <sighs> Come on. Come on! Yeah! Not over yet. Gotta finish him off. Come on, don't jinx it now. Come on. Pile on the pressure. Pile on the pressure. Come on. Yes, 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 yes! Whoa! Whoo, getting a little heated. I even had my mom just ridicule me just now. Yeah, uh, mommy dear, that's why I don't like to record videos when other people are around. Whoa. Am I making this guy look easy? Come on! Okay. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Almost threw him off the cliff! Whew! I did it. I actually beat Boldo. This never happens. This is the first time I've beaten Boldo on my first try. And come to think of it, why am I such a masochist? Like, why do I insist that I do these videos on one go without a single continue? No one's telling me I need to do that. That's just how I'm choosing to do it. And come to think of it, would my videos be more interesting if I included losses? Hmm. If anyone made it this far, I I'd like to hear your opinion. Oh, I wish I had more subscribers who could actually give me opinions. Shall we begin the experiment? Aswell is a worthy final boss, like he should be, but what do you expect? He's a magic user. I mean, all these other guys are using blades and sticks and hammers and whatnot. This guy's using frickin' magic! Of course he's gonna be hard. But that speedy little Farah, she's holding her own. Oh, no, 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 no! Phew! Ah, it was the knuckle biter. Okay. Yeah! Pile on the pressure! Pile on the pressure! Dang it! No, 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 no! Okay, okay. Block! Yes! Yeah! Gotta admit, he's making me work for that W! Come on! Yeah! Alright. One round down. Let's see if I can make it happen again. Alright. Can I get him off the edge? Nope, he's not gonna let that happen easy. Hey, projectiles, no fair! Well, here's something else that's kinda no fair. You put my own projectiles, take that! And... Thunder Strike! I will not lose. I will not lose. I hope not. No, no! Every time I get on the edge, it puts me on the edge. But another grapple, and another round one. Come on, Bale. You did it once. You can do it again. Especially since this character is faster. Doesn't that make her better? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, personally, I don't think speed's everything. It oftentimes makes a character easier to play, but it doesn't make them better. Come on, making it look easy. Maybe I can do it without losing a round. Come on, and... Come on! Yeah! Kind of blanked out there, both of us. And, bask in the glory. and winning ca- Booyah! 
Yes, you do, Farah. And that's another one down and oh boy. I just got a silver. Wow. I mean, it's kind of easier to get better golds in uh, very hard because like you get more time to do it. But uh, here's one thing I didn't notice. There's a legendary difficulty. Holy cow, like, I haven't even been playing on the hardest difficulty. I can't even imagine how much of a masochist it would take to beat legendary difficulty. But let's see that legendary difficulty in action. That's right, it's another mirror match with another alternate color for the character. And I kind of like this color, but... It's another thing I'd like to hear your opinions on. So anyway... This is normal, Farah. The one you just saw, no duh. Bad Bell! Bad! And this is the ult I made for her. It's more gold and whatnot. I didn't want to be too obvious and invert the colors. Besides that, her sister's already blue. That would be kind of stupid to just give her her sister's colors. It would get confusing. But what am I going to do with her sister if I eventually do beat the game with her? I don't want to play on this stage. Come on. Come on, random select. Give me a different stage. Give me a better stage. We played that stage last time. We played that stage at the beginning of this video. Come on! Hmm. Still haven't unlocked that stage. I wonder how you do it. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, forest. Yeah, I haven't played that stage yet. Yeah, that's a much better stage. Let's take a look at what we got here. No. Ooh. Carve their souls into their I have souls. to be honest, the stages in this game are actually kind of boring. I feel like the stages in previous games were better. Heck, I still think the original Soul Calibur had the best stages. But that's just my humble opinion. And after winning the exchange, Farah A is on the attack. Nice block from Farah A. Farah B tries to counter, but, well, actually, she did pretty good. Okay, let's see how. Whoa! Okay. Uh, looks like they kind of spaced out, too. Lots of spacing out today, I guess. All right, that's one win for Farah A. Nice. Round two. And Farah B starts out strong. Nice. And Farah A come back from this. Oh, boy. Doesn't throw her shield yet. Doesn't have the right amount of power. Gotta spark that shield up to get maximum power from your super mold. Oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> and Farah B is coming back with style. It must be seized. And I was trying to look at some animals in the background. If you look closely with the right shot, you might see some wolves in the background and something black. Maybe a panther? I'm not sure. I was trying to get a good look at the panther, but I have no idea how the camera works for the replay. And oh boy. Terra A is coming back with a vengeance this time. And did Terra B just waste a special move? I went back to watch the replay and I found out that no, she did not. That was just my eyes playing tricks on me. And even those acrobatic stunts couldn't save her. All right, round four. Can Farah B make a comeback? Well, right now, Farah A is making a mockery of her attack. 
Come on, Faraby, you're gonna have to pick up the pace. And whoa, what do we got here? Farah A is giving her the business right now. It might not end very well. Ooh, maybe Farah B is making a comeback. Let's see what we got here. Oh, maybe not. Farah A wants to wrap this puppy up. But Farah E is not gonna make it easy. And what do we got here? Ooh, looks like Farah A is the, wait, what's up? Oh, imposter! You're no beautiful bird angel at all! And the real Pharaoh wins! Let's see that epic victory one more time! Ooh, yeah! And that was Legendary AI in Motion. Until next time, I'm Balf, and the cave is closed.